we would like to discuss the fact that there are so many um, prophecies available at this moment with regards to what is going to happen on planet Earth over the next, uh, let's say, 14 months. And we would like to say, and what we are merely doing is repeating what we have talked about before. However, we feel that this uh, sum needs to be heard by different people in a different way. What is happening is your realities are changing. There is a, a split in reality that is happening. Some are calling it a parallel world. Uh, you know, some are saying uh, fourth or fifth dimension, which is absolutely true. You still have those existing within the third dimension on the planet. So, um, you have coexisting at this moment, third, fourth and fifth. Now, you don't have many individuals actually living physically in the fifth. The fifth has been grounded on Mother Earth but it hasn't been incorporated into your physical bodies fully. Now, we would like to say to you that that split in reality or parallel worlds or whatever you want to call it, there are many different names for it, is happening right now. And many of you are feeling it and seeing it. Now, there is good news about this. Uh, you have um, let's say three layers of individuals moving at one time. You have the first wave, the light workers. You know who you are. You have been part of this first wave of consciousness. Now, many spoke about tidal waves because they were picking up, receiving messages, a wave, a wave, a big wave. And they interpret that as a wave physically. You know, when you have dreams and you see huge tidal waves coming, remember you are dreaming about water. The symbology of water is emotion. When the fifth dimension hits the emotional body, it, is a, it, it, it presents itself with a wave of consciousness, a wave of releasing a lot of emotions that are all pent up within you. That's why you are seeing so many that are angry at the moment, so many protests, so many individuals voicing their emotions and saying, no more, we will take no more, we will uh, not do what you say, we will not be controlled, we will not be manipulated. And this is very good, but this is a wave of consciousness, it's not a physical wave. Yes, there are weather patterns that will be destructive. There are more earthquakes to come, more problems with um, volcanoes and things like this. But not so great that it will split continents, that it will, you know, uh, kill billions. You know, it, th that is not the reality that is coming toward you unless it's what you want. You know, because you, the light workers, are moving into the fifth along with some of the star seeds. You know who you are. You are part of this first wave. The second wave is made up of star seeds and also humans. The third wave, which will come in years to come, is made up of humans. And we have discussed this before, all the different types of souls that are existing on this planet, etc. So we, we will not go into that in detail this time. Because there is so much information uh, for you to read, to access through the internet, that we do not need to provide you with this. That's why there are so many different versions of the truth. Many of the star seeds are perceiving the version of the truth as their reality in another existence. What happened on their planets? The reason that they went out into the universe in search for somewhere new. You know, many of these star seeds have existed also in a lot of war, a lot of conflict. Many of you have been in pain. Many of you have felt like, I don't belong here. 
this is not my world. I am disgusted with what is happening. And you are outraged by what is happening because you feel the urgency of this matter. You feel, you know what the result will be if things continue the way that they are going. Now, you have uh, positive and, and negative uh, star seeds existing on this planet at the moment. And uh, most of you know about this. Uh, you are hearing about the reptilians and uh, the greys, oh, lots of different ones. Uh, so they are creating one reality. There is a battle happening. And the battle is happening not only for the planet, but for souls. And we have explained this before, that those that have not lived beyond the fifth dimension before in previous lifetimes or on other existences are new souls. And they are learning about these dimensional realities and they are moving into the spiritual aspect of their soul. They are growing. And it is at that time that the darkness wants to grab them and say, join our army. Because the darkness destroys, it uncreates. The light creates. Therefore, the darkness cannot create souls. That's why they did all the experiments that they have throughout time. On other planets, on this planet, many of you remember Atlantis and the experiments that were done on you. They are trying to figure out how to create light, how to create a spark, how to create a soul, but they cannot. So that is the time that they grab those souls, they deceive them, they manipulate them, they control them, they overpower them, and they take them into their reality. That's what's been going on. Now, um, and it's, it's going to continue to go on. So the, the ones that are in the first wave, you have been fighting against this, not because you are tempted to go into that area, because you have already in other lifetimes surpassed the fifth dimension. You've already made the decision to live within the light, to be of light, to exist within unity consciousness. And so you don't have that dilemma. You know what you have chosen. You are the ones who have been feeling disillusioned, have felt that you don't fit in, uh, felt separate, more separate from everyone else, and like you're fighting all the time and not getting anywhere. And now you are starting to see, as the fifth dimension has gone through your emotional body, remember, the spiritual aspect of yourself has already accepted the fifth dimension before you even decided to come to this planet. That's not the question. Your mental reality has transformed to the fifth, which means that you've been processing the beliefs of your family, the beliefs of your society, and you have been releasing yourself from those collective consciousnesses that do not serve you. Now it's hit the emotional body, and the emotional body is feeling the pain. You know, it is feeling sometimes the, um, the sadness. Many of you have felt woken with great sadness and grief. Um, the feeling of being alone, of being helpless, of being abandoned. All of these things you have been working on. And you are it. now the fifth is moving into the physical body. The physical is the last stage of any form of manifestation. When you want to manifest something, the first thing it comes as a thought, doesn't it? Then you feel it. Oh yes, I can do this. Then you physically act on it, right? So, it is true with the way that this is happening at the moment for those in the first and some in the second wave. The fifth dimension is working its way down to you, into your physical body, so that you change the physical reality in which you reside. Which is why many of you are finding yourselves moving, 
many of you are saying, oh, I think I need to move to another place where I can reduce my expenditures. I can have a more simplistic way of living. I can have less stress. I can work with Mother Nature. I can perhaps form a little community of different people where we grow our own food, we're self-sufficient. And you've had that idea for some time and you're getting the push to do it. And the reason for that is you are the co-creators of the fifth dimension. And the fifth dimension has nothing to do with great profits, with huge political structures, with um, medical systems that are damaging through all the medications they're giving you. There is nothing wrong with a doctor healing you. They are not your enemy. Many doctors are healers. However, when pharmaceutical companies get involved and they begin to pay huge amounts to doctors and hospitals to prescribe certain chemicals that are destroying your mental capacities and your physical body, that is different. And so you are beginning to feel the push to create another reality. You are feeling yourselves separating from this fourth and third dimensional reality where separation exists, greed exists, anger exists, poverty exists, chaos exists, uh, you know, pain and agony, starvation, all of these things exist in those realities. And you, in the first wave, you, you need to move away from that. That is why you are getting this push to create realities that are completely different. And, and many of you are finding that before you struggled with manifesting for a period of time, now, as this fifth dimension moves into your physical bodies, you will find you will be able to manifest again more easily. You will be more in tune with what is happening around you. Okay, so what happens is that that movement creates those two realities that coexist. You can call them parallel worlds, you can call them whatever you like, but they will coexist for a period of time. There is a lot of talk about 2012, you know, December 2012 being a time of great destruction and, you know, UFOs will come and take many and don't go to these one star seeds, go to these star seeds. You've got a lot of information out there. Some of it's true for you. Some of it's not true because it's not true for you. If you are a light worker, you don't need to go into a... Um, a craft, a spacecraft to go home because you're a light worker. You don't need to do that. If you are a particular starseed from a particular place, you might well feel, ah yes, these are my people, I want to go with them and you can go with them. You see, so there is a lot of conflicting information telling you, do this, do that to be safe. Your heart will guide you where you need to go to be safe, if you need to go somewhere to be safe. You know? Um, it is not um, in the world's best interest for billions of people to die from, you know, huge, huge tragedies. It, it, it's not in the interest of the planet to, um, let's say, create so much pain, so much terror. Think about it. Um, every time there is a war, the land where that war is has pain on it. Those souls, their bodies that are left in that earth have pain in them on some level, have terror, have fear, have loneliness have deep, deep sadness. Mother Earth is being cleansed of that. She doesn't want to, you know, create that again. So, anyone who chooses to leave this planet is leaving because they want to go home. Not because some horrible thing is happening to them. 
it's because that's what they want to do. So it's, it's not uh, that there will be all of these horrible things. In some places there will be. And some people will be there experiencing that. And that's going to give them the opportunity to go home. You know? And those in the first wave, we know we're changing the subject a little bit, but this is going to be cutting to pieces, yes? Yes. So, um, you know, you will hear different things. So, those of you who are in the first wave, um, many of you, well, all the light workers are in the first wave and there are some star seeds. You are beginning to feel, to come out of that um, pain and sadness and grief and traumas um, as, your, as, the, as the fifth dimension is moving through your emotional body and into your physical body. And so you are beginning to feel, ah, it's okay to be here. That inner struggle that you've had for many lifetimes about feeling uncomfortable and that you don't fit in is suddenly vanishing. It's, it's not as if, you know, one evening you go to bed and you have all these conflicting things going on in your life and the next morning you wake up and life is perfect. No, that will not happen. What you're discovering is it's a gradual thing and all of a sudden you look back and you say, oh, I'm not feeling that anymore. And it's like some distant memory, even though that happened last week. I don't feel any of it, even though that happened yesterday. So you see, you are starting to be in the moment. When you find yourself living in the moment, you understand that you are fully in the fifth. And this is very important. And a lot of individuals are saying, and we have said to you, yes, physical changes will happen. Of course they will happen. But they're not going to happen overnight. It's not like one night you go to bed and the next morning you wake up 20 years younger. It's not going to happen. It will be a gradual thing where your aging process will slow down. Then, you, if you wish, you can reverse it through your attitude towards life. You can reverse it. We're not talking about if you're 60 going back to when you're 20, but if you're 60 going back to when you're 40, when you felt, or even 45, when you felt really good about yourself. You will go to that. And that happens over a period of time that, that it just sort of happens so that you look back and you say, oh goodness, two years ago I looked a lot older than I do now. Wow. And you didn't really do anything. It just happens. You know, it's a gradual thing. Is no, um, how can we say this, no negativity is involved in it. No pushing, no willing, no uh, controlling, no manipulating anything is going to create it. Being is going to create it. Just being. So, for those in the first wave, you are coming into simply being. And a lot of you have had that message over the last six to eight months. Just be. You don't have to run around screaming, telling everybody what to do, pushing people to heal, giving them information, forcing everything down their throats anymore. You have been told to be. And that is because you are literally allowing that fifth dimension to permeate itself through you into your physical body so that you can co-create a physical reality of the fifth dimension that has nothing to do with the fourth dimension. So yes, you will be co-existing at the same time. At the same time as all this disruption, all of this upheaval, all the systems are collapsing, you will be fine you will find yourselves creating amazing things. You know, because you are existing within the fifth. You do not need to be fearful, oh, if I go here, will I all of a sudden be in some 
terrible tragedy. No, if you feel to go there, then you won't be. And let's, let's just for a moment be very honest. You are here for a period of time to assist this planet into moving forward within its consciousness. You are not here as a permanent resident. You know, as light workers, you belong to the universes. Enjoy the time that you are here. While you are here, think about joy. Think about every thought you send out to this planet is creating something. It is latching on to another's thought and co-creating an existence. What existence do you want to create? When you find yourself judging, criticizing, condemning another or a system, stop and say, no, that is not part of my reality. I am co-creating this beautiful reality and I am responsible for that. Remember, as light workers, your light is so much more powerful. When you send out a thought, for some of you, it's equal to thousands of people thinking. So you create a collective consciousness on your own. Be aware of this. The other thing that you are going to find is the second wave has already started awakening. They started, um, the second wave started at the beginning of this year, 2011. Well, actually, it, the seed started at the end of 2010, around October. But they really started moving forward January, February uh, 2011, the second wave. That's why you are seeing so many screaming, so many protesting, so many angry people demonstrating against what they feel is entrapment, is disempowerment, and it's okay for them to do it. This second wave consists of um, mostly starseed, as we said, and some humans. So help them, assist them, put positive energy into those areas where they are, you know, screaming for help. If you cannot give money or time, give energy. Don't sit there and say, oh, there's nothing I can do, it's helpless, it's their problem. No, it's all of your problem. If you have nothing to give, give your energy. Send a positive thought to those people. Yes, you, you can be free. Keep opening your mouth and speaking your truth. This is important for these people to feel it because it's like encouragement. You know? Uh, the other thing that you're finding, and we spoke about this before, we said 